Hi guys, this is Apurva here and today I have come up with a really interesting topic that is on childhood obesity. See, this childhood obesity is one of the major problems which uh, everyone, uh, not only in India but throughout the world why they are facing with. So, let's understand in detail how does this um, uh, childhood obesity occur and what are the reasons for it and what kind of interventions can we do to avoid this childhood obesity. So, as this is a really vast topic, I have divided this in three parts and today I am going to discuss on the part one, how the formation of the uh, childhood obesity. So, see, for example, now this is like a cycle, it's called as viscous cycle and it starts off with, like say, uh, he is a healthy child and he is going to, you know, become into a mildly obese when he plays different kind of video games, sits in front of the television and he does he do not go to any kind of playing outside the um, house and uh, and when he takes different kind of high fatty foods, this kind of problems usually occur. So that's how, you know, the healthy child turns into a mildly obese child. And when the mildly obese child, um, uh, you know, the stage occurs, slowly he starts inhibiting the movements where he do not uh, go with a, go to any kind of play as such because he'll, he'll be usually tired and he usually, um, you know, chooses um, a lift rather than choosing stairs. And then slowly he uh, becomes a moderately obese child. And then slowly there will be you know he would be not able to do any kind of exercise because he will be very uncomfortable doing it and it will be really painful for him he'll have all kind of leg pains and all and that's how he would be not uh, choosing any kind of exercise and he would obviously not uh, choose any kind of outdoor activities too and thus he turns into a severely obese child and this is really a very problematic stage because when these stages cannot be avoided when he comes to this kind of severely obese stage, he obviously turns into a uh, obese adult and that's how the obesity even um, is a major problem in adults too. So once we stop this thing in childhood, the obesity in adults also would be stopped. So, um, you know, let's take it as a challenge uh, and make our children, uh, you know, uh, avoid all these kind of high fat foods We'll send them uh, to play outside. Okay, when you are really worried about, you know, the security purpose and all, you also go with them and obviously you will also have a good kind of exercise for you. And let's allow them to play outside and uh, uh, like avoid them sitting in front of the televisions, video games, computers and all. And thus, uh, and thus, let's prevent uh, the consequences of it because once he turns into a obese adult, he would be encountering with the different kind of chronic diseases like heart diseases, heart and, and um, you know, the different skeletal and muscular problems, arthritis and different other uh, problems of like which are very chronic. So let's take it as a challenge and let's try to avoid the childhood obesity. In my part two, I am going to discuss different kind of interventions, what we can do to avoid the childhood obesity. Thank you so much guys for watching my video. If you like this video, please like, share and uh, if you have any kind of doubts, you can comment in the comment box. And if you're looking for any kind of um, diet plans, please uh, leave your email ID in the comment box so that I would be able to uh, reply to you in person and I would give you different kind of diet plans as well. Not only for kids, even for adults, for whoever are looking for the weight loss or whoever are having different kind of uh, problems like hormonal imbalances or thyroid, PCOD kind of things. Thank you so much guys. Please uh, like, share and comment uh, and please do even subscribe my channel Apurva Dietitian for more interesting and diet videos. Thank you so much guys. Bye.